This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. We previewed it and detailed the Detroit production facility, but now Fleet Equipment finally got its hands on the new Detroit DD5 engine outfitted in the Freightliner M2106. So come along as we dive into the specs and put the new engine through its paces on this episode of On the Road. I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. Drive 60 miles north of cloudy cold San Francisco, and the clouds part, the sun shines, and its vineyards as far as the eye can see. Yachtville, California is nestled in the heart of Napa Valley and was the perfect place to put the DD5 through a mock pickup and delivery route. I talked with Chris Moran, program director for DTNA, about the new engine as the company readies it to roll on the roads. The DD5 is a 5.1 liter four-cylinder engine, which is squarely aimed at P&D applications right out of the gate. Four-cylinder engines are a growing trend in the medium-duty segment, particularly in P&D. Now you might be thinking, can a four-cylinder engine get the job done? I put that question to Chris for his take on the trend. I think really the focus is on the horsepower and torque required to get the job done. Mm -hmm. And uh, really with the initial launch here at the DD5, we've got a uh, 210 horsepower, 575 foot-pound of torque engine with a nice flat torque curve, 12 to 1600 RPM, so it is down sped a little bit. Uh, we've got a higher horsepower and torque rating of 230 horsepower mm-hmm. and 660 foot-pounds of torque. True to Chris's word, the DD5 featured plenty of pick-up-and-go power in the Freightliner M2106, hauling around 24,000 pounds. And Chris noted that my experience has been echoed through all of Detroit's test drives. We've done a number of riding drives with customers, target key accounts. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they've come come away impressed with it. Mm-hmm. You know, great comparable to uh, uh, a six cylinder mm-hmm. that they use today. So, and they're all on board taking their deliveries of first pre series units. So, all in all, I think uh, that's not going to be an issue. One of the other things to get them over any concern is really the durability of this engine. Mm. You know, we've got a B10 life of 400,000 miles. Mm -hmm. Two of the big uh, standout features were the dual stage turbo and the varial camshaft phasing. Can you just kind of quickly explain what those are, how they do what they do, and what are the benefits there? Sure. The, uh, so with the 5.1 liter, the the four cylinder, the DD5, you know, one of the key things is, uh, you know, getting the power density into the cylinders to get the horsepower and torque to get the job done. Obviously, the turbo configuration is key for that. What we've we've found is using um, that configuration in our development, it is a fixed geometry turbo, it's not many moving parts, and we Mm. find that to be reliable over time. So that's why we selected that. The other key component you mentioned is we have uh, variable cam phasing on the exhaust side. Again, it's a dual overhead cam that allows Mm. us to do this. Really the key benefit of that is uh, we're able under low load, um, startup type conditions, we're able to advance the exhaust valve timing where we open them up a little bit early in the Mm -hmm. combustion process. What that does is it allows us to, you know, introduce high heat to the after treatment system. Mm -hmm. So we can do NOx conversion, um, regenerations, that type of things much more efficiently. And uh, that's really key in P&D, stop and go, low load applications. Mm. We've been talking about this engine uh, for quite some time now. We've been lucky enough to kind of see its development. But now as you're bringing it to market, you're going to see it rolling down the road. What's it mean to you and the company uh, going forward? It's a lot of pride 
to be honest it's uh it's great i think you were there in the fall in detroit at our mm -hmm. facility there and you can just see uh you know the commitment uh, by Daimler Trucks North America to make that investment in our facility in Detroit and the mm -hmm. workforce there. It's just uh, we put our heart and soul into it, and it's uh, it's it's rewarding to see it rolling down the road now. For more details on the DD5 and additional episodes of On the Road, head over to feontheroad.com.